Hey guys, what's shaking? Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 with Mr. Long Couch. That's me. All right, so when we left off last time, these guys were whooping my monkey ass with frag grenades. So I'm going to try and return the favor here. I went ahead and put my Molotovs and my frag grenades on my quick select here. Um, hold on a second. Where did these guys go? <laughs> there was like eight guys up here last time when I was playing before. Now they're all gone. Oh, oh, there's a guy. Okay. Well, I was going to grenade him, but if it's just this dude. Get him, dog meat. Distract him for me. Don't, don't run at me. Run at him. What the fuck? Dude, don't just stand there and get shot. Go do something. Jesus Christ. Ah, I can't hit shit. Okay, got that guy. Dog meat, vicious snarl. Ah! Right, let's use some vats, because otherwise... Got a quarter shot. Oh no, it went down as soon as... Oh man. I had a 25% chance and then it changed to three because he moved an inch to the left. Bastards. Just die! Hmm. Okay, I tried throwing a mine. I don't think the guy was actually standing there anymore. Or throwing a frag grenade, rather. Stop shooting me! Fuck! There's, I can't get cover from these guys. They're just killing me so fast. Fucker! Get out of my life! Is that everybody? No, I'm still in danger. What is all this stuff? I don't know. That stuff might come in handy. Ah, I'm encumbered again. Oh, for the love. Hey. Uh, dog meat. I need you to take a whole bunch of stuff. I don't yet know how much you can carry, but I want you to carry a lot of stuff. As much as you can. Just, just take all this shit. I'm not really gonna sit here and... Oh shit, I just gave him all my frag grenades. Uh, just take all kinds of stuff. Get it all out of my... Out of my inventory. I don't feel like dealing with it. Okay, he's maxed out now. <laughs> the question has been answered. Give me back this stuff. And my frag grenades. Okay. Good. I actually do really hope that we get out of here soon, just so I can... Power armor station? Holy shit. Just so I can, like, sell stuff and, uh... Unload all this... all this junk. So it says transfer. Oh, that's just... that's right. You can store stuff in there, too. That's so weird. But whatever. Alright, let's finish looking around here. I wish I knew if this stuff was actually useful. Look at all this shit. I mean, tube flange, connecting rod, it sounds like stuff that might be useful, but I don't know, I already took a bunch of them. Right, there's got to be some reason to come down here, it's got to be something worth taking. Bottle cap mine. Ooh. May come in handy. Alright, let's head back up. This place has been a real kick in the nuts so far. It's pretty big. And there's just like... Ooh, a submachine gun. There's so many enemies in here. I'm just like chewing through my uh, healing items. I'm not going to have any left at this rate. Which I don't think is a huge deal, because I'm sure that we'll get more. If we care to look around long enough. Let's see, uh, okay. I want to make sure I don't leave too much behind. Um, let's go back up this way first. 
it's for some reason I feel like the other way is the actual way forward. This says exit. Yeah, this will take us back outside. Okay. So we do want to go this way. Apparently that goes outside too. Alright. Got that frag grenade back that I used. <laughs> What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's creepy as shit. What the fuck? Dude. Dude, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Get it away from me. Can I shoot it? <laughs> I shot the monkey's head off. I think I'm cursed for the rest of my life now. I probably shouldn't have done that. Ooh, a tool case. What was that Stephen King short story with the monkey that, that banged the symbols together? It's too long ago that I read it. I remember it was a good story, though. Stephen King's good stuff. Yes. <laughs> My guy goes, yes. Alright. Very good. So I'm trying to remember the reason we even came in here. It had something to do with... Uh... Oh, this goes up to the roof. We found info about, like, some fusion cells or something in here. Uh, what is my active quest right now? Both of these have squares next to them. I don't know which one's, like... I mean, I can toggle active. Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. Let's go up onto the roof and see what's up here. Using jet creates an altered state of consciousness where time appears to slow, allowing you to perform more actions than normal for a limited period of time. That could be pretty useful in combat. Maybe I should start using some drugs. It'd be kind of funny if your character got like totally addicted to drugs the more you used them, and you had to come to rely on them. Oh, it's gone. oh yeah it is. Yeah it is. Oh, get shot. Yeah. I'm out of AP already. Good boy, dog meat. Yeah. Punch that face off. Whoa, what? Okay. What is it? Oh, he's throwing shit at me. Stop it, stop it. No, oh, I'm on fire. Oh, heal up, heal up. How do I not be on fire anymore? These motherfuckers. And they're Molotovs and grenades. Hello. Okay, all the way up there. Never gonna hit them from here with this, but they're hitting me just fine. Jesus. This place is big. I am officially out of stim packs too. Oh, that's bad. That is real bad. Okay, I think action freezes when I pull this up. I certainly hope so. I got I need some healing. Um aid. Buff out, Danny Boy Apples, restore 10 HP, give me some rads. I'll eat them. Iguana on a stick. <laughs> cool. That, that's a That mostly got me healed up. Alright, we're actually being stealthy right now. Let's see if we can get closer. Oh, so much for that. Let's see. If you shoot the arm that they're shooting with... <laughs> well, I hope that that meant that they wouldn't be able to shoot me back, but that didn't work at all. Okay. God, this place is it's just so big. I feel really underleveled right now. Like, the fact that I can only get, like, two shots off in vats fucking sucks. But these guys are not dying to two shots. Yeah, dog meat. Good boy. Oh, get him, boy. God damn, he just tore that guy up. That was sick. 
Good boy. You're such a good boy. You're getting a treat when we get back to Sanctuary. Oh, shit. Okay, now my dog's on fire. And I'm missing. Hardcore. Die already. Fuck. What the hell is this place? Ow. How tall is this damn place? <laughs> There's enemies on every elevation. Right, let's see if we can get the whole way up. Because then we'll actually have the high ground and that'll make the firefight a little bit easier to deal with. Oh man, that melee attack is actually pretty effective. Hello. God damn it. Die. Are you kidding me? Fuck off. Ooh, a repair bobblehead. No shit. Hell yeah. Fusion cores permanently last 10% longer. Damn, that's awesome. That is a great find. Okay. And we got ammo in there. Awesome. You know what that's worth? A quick save. Because <laughs> if I died now and started back at the beginning of this video, I would be really, really upset. Alright. Somebody's taunting me. Seems they've totally lost me. And I lost my dog. I don't know what happened to dog meat. Last time I saw him, he was on fire. Which, uh, if you're not a dog owner, um, let me give you my uh, professional breakdown of that. Your dog should not be on fire. If your dog is on fire, he's going to have problems. And uh, you should put him not on fire as soon as humanly possible. That's my... Oh, shit. Oh. How did that dude not hear me? What? That should have been a sneak attack. Whatever. I wonder if the game would give me a heads up once, like, all the raiders are gone. Like, do you, like, capture the area? Or do you get, like, a big chunk of XP or anything like that? Because otherwise, I don't know how I would know. Of course, they probably respawn anyway, so... It's probably a moot question in the first place. Alright, so now we're going to climb up on this side. I'm going to easily lose track of which areas I've explored and which areas I haven't. <laughs> oh, this is bringing me up to the same place. God damn it. Right, because I climbed up on this side, but I climbed down on this side. Okay. And I don't want to jump down from here, because that would hurt. Man, I have got to, like, level up my AP or something. <laughs> Let's take a look around. Where else is there to explore on here? Hmm, maybe that structure over there? I'm not even sure if I got what I originally came here for. Where would I find that? Under data? Hmm. No. Found it in a terminal. I don't even know if it records that stuff, honestly. Got it. Radio stations. Hard to pick up. Please get off my screen. Thank you. Yeah, we've got perks. No. Be under inventory? 
No, that wouldn't make any sense. If anything, it would be under data, but I don't see it. Well, that's okay. If I figure out what it was that I came here for originally, <laughs> and it's something I really, really want, then I can always come back at some point. We can fast travel. Now that we've found this location, we should always be able to do that. So I think we are actually going to try to get out of here now. Because this place kind of sucks. And it's kicking my butt. And I just want to get to Diamond City so I can heal up and sell things and just kind of get back to square one. You know what I mean? Okay, so that was Lexington right there. Let's pull up the map and see which way we want to go to get to Diamond City. I believe it's right down here. Yeah. So we do have a waypoint there. Hardware Town. <laughs> that sounds like a cool place. So basically we want to head southeast from here towards that objective marker. Ah, what'd you find, dog meat? Dog meat, nice find. What is this place? Hello, who are you? You're a dead person. I'm taking your crispy squirrel bits. <laughs> Sounds vaguely sexual. That's really cool that he found that uh, that hatch for me. I'm not sure I ever would have found that myself. And I heard another raider, but I don't know where they are. I also don't really care that much. I'm just gonna leave. What? What the fuck? Did he fall down? Oh, dog meat fell and hurt himself. No, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, God. What happens if I just kind of go off in this direction? Does he, like... Will he catch up to me? How does that work? I don't know if I can just leave him like that. That'd be rude. Of course, he's all better now. Okay. You have zero chance to hit. Oh, I was on the wrong thing. Destroy that thing before it destroys me. Jesus, it's strong. Oh God, oh, it's gonna kill me. Fucking hell! That turret killed me really fast. <laughs> oh, jeez. And... where am I now? Okay. That's alright, we didn't really lose any progress. We're just gonna try and... stealthily... descend from here. So one thing I haven't figured out yet is whether this game uh, will like scale the enemies in a location. I know like in, in some previous Bethesda games, the way it worked was that when you discovered a location, the enemies would be permanently scaled to whatever level you were when you entered that location. So that meant that it was a good idea to, to explore as much of the map as you could when you were a lower level. That way most of the overworld would be easy for you to get around in. Unless you really wanted a challenge, in which case, obviously, you would, you know, level as fast as you could. And then, you know, go explore the world after that. And then in some titles, I do believe that the level of the enemies just depends on the area and the way that they built the world. And it could go either way. Uh, as far as, like, difficulty. Military frequency found. Started fire support. Listen to... Well, that's kind of cool. We picked up a radio signal and got a quest from it. Jesus, fuck! How many of these bastards are left, anyway? Oh, God. Oh, my God, they do so much damage. Oh, God, I gotta heal again. Let's see. I don't know how much healing stuff I have left. 
baked bloat fly. <laughs> you can eat the brain fungus. Um, hub flower. Give me a little rads, that's okay. Oh, the, the mole rat chunks, that's a, that's a good heal right there. Hold on, we're gonna eat the mongrel dog meat though. Okay, is it because of this weapon I'm using? Does this gun just suck? Let's see if we can't give him some lasers. Oh yeah, right to the chest. Oh yeah, that's a kill. I like that. Oh fuck, it used both my shots. Damn it. I forgot if you didn't use VATS, it uses both your charge shots when you pull the trigger once. I don't really know why it works like that. Ah, bitch! Get off me, you dirty bitch. Thank you. <gasps> Fucking hell. How many are left? Jesus. And that was a whiff. That's bad. <laughs> oh, incinerated. I love it. Okay. Can I explore in peace now? Is that okay with you guys? Dog meat, are you okay? You're whimpering. I don't have any stim packs to give you, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to do for you. What was that? Oh, sit on the chair. <laughs> Still a raider somewhere around here. Oh, he's all the way up top there. I'm not gonna hit him from here. He sure is fucking hitting me though. Jesus. God, that's annoying. Okay. Let's grab the stuff in here. And the signal. Wow, you, it's a, in a really specific spot. You stand. Was it right here? Okay, so let's pull up our radio and listen to this. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum, 9-5. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Is that it? Automated message repeating. Yep. So that was super uninformative, but we got a quest to go to the Cambridge Police Station and see what's going on over there. Okay, I've got to heal up again. I don't know what to use. Nuka Cherry. There we go. Man, I could go for some cherry soda right now. Wait, do I really have to come in and... Turn off radio. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. I guess that's good. You can leave the radio playing while your pit boy's away. I guess that's why that didn't turn off automatically. That actually makes sense. Okay. Dog meat, can you, like, come with me? Because we gotta go. We, we gotta get out of this damn place. I'm just, I'm done here. If I can get over this fence. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this, this place, this hell. Oh, wait, here we go. Ah, free at last, free at last. Oh, the signal's out here, too. Okay. Well, guys, we made it out of that factory. That was a learning experience. I've learned that I have uh, a lot to learn about combat and leveling and other things that are going to be important for the long run of this game. But 
we're, we've made it out and uh, we're gonna keep heading towards Diamond City hopefully get there in the next video I don't think it'll take too long and uh, like I said we're gonna like sell stuff off and level up and do things like that get back to square one probably pick up a lot of different quests and I think we'll uh, have a good time so thanks for watching I'm dude long couch I will catch you guys in the next part see ya stealthy dog Ooh.